All right, let's do a little update on the five-day puzzle. Four-day puzzle. Four-day puzzle so far. Five days if you include the drawing. So, um, this is where I have finally gotten to. It has taken a long time to not only figure out this puzzle, and it's a 3D puzzle, by the way, that I was working on a 2D surface over there and also drawing in 2D. Um, and the 3D kind of throws you off. So, really excited that it worked. The other thing is we had, I had constraints. Let me go back a little bit here. And here is the storage shed that we've got. And so it's 48 and 28. Didn't really have to worry too much about the height. Um, but I did have to worry about those two things because we've got a lot going on right here. So we've got all the hoop houses that will happen over there in the pasture area, plus wanted to um, also do the driveway off of here as well. And by doing that, this is these are the pipes that I had, and they're three inches, and, and actually they're four inches, and so they leave, a, I think it's like a two and a half inch gap or something. Anyways, it, it really started expanding out. So it took a long time uh, trying to figure out the pieces that I had without having to buy a whole new setup and, all of that kind of stuff to figure out where where can this fit? How can this fit? Not if this can fit, but how can this fit? This is fitting in here. That's it, period. So once you get that in your head, that this right here has to fit in here, now you can allow your brain to start being creative. You don't have to think, uh, if you run into a stumbling block, your mind's not gonna say, well, you know, we don't really have to fit it in here. We could take it back, or we could take and get new pieces and stuff like that. But once you put in your head, no, it's fitting in this spot, and we're gonna do the best we possibly can with the pieces that we have right now. And I did end up buying, I think, three pieces. One, two, uh, oh, and some of the inserts. So uh, three inserts, and then I decided to get some uh, threaded 90. So I think five pieces total uh, in order to put this all together. So then I finally got it laid out this way to get it shrunk down so it fits in the 48. And then this was the next guy, and it was sticking way out here. It was like three feet when I first started this whole thing. So then I started going to town trying to figure out what connections do I have, what connections do I need anyhow, and if I need new connections anyhow, let's go with uh, maybe this kind of design. And I wanted to get that coupler in there so that we can take this off, and these two pieces are separate. That really is going to come in handy um, to get it out and get it in. And, and if I have to take this part off or something breaks over here, um, if I need a new line um, for the filter, or not the filter, the fertilizer, probably even the filter though, it, it all can be taken apart without all of it having to be taken apart. Just a, a section of it can be taken apart and then I can start slicing it up and stuff. So that was, that was the next thing was, okay, let's get it. And actually, as I kept going, I kept figuring out new ways to make it shorter and shorter and shorter. I had one two-inch uh, coupler piece right there, a nipple piece, and I had it over here. Well, I had the extra space. I had already worked it out that I had the extra space that I, I could put one of the bigger ones, the four-inch ones here, and I could move that one over here. So that brought that in just a little bit. Um, and then I switched around a couple of different things so that I ended up not needing uh, an extra one of these down here. And so I had needed one less of these plus the connection that goes in there and that brought it in. I figured out what the distance was that I could get all the way in there plus have enough of a gap to saw it if I ever had to. And I worked that out and I got in there. That brought it down even more. Then the very last one, as I'm actually putting the thing together, I realize I have this piece right here in here. And it has an insert, so I it, it stuck out even a little bit further. Where well, this is a street elbow, so I was able to actually take this elbow and bring it in and that made it even shorter. Now, I was getting a little nervous though, before I put this in, I realized, uh-oh, these guys may touch one another 
but it works out perfectly because uh, these are independent of each other and they do not touch. This one actually sits up a little bit higher because it's big, it's, it's, it's a uh, one and a half inch and this is a three quarter. And so they, this one actually sits on, on top of it, so it's great. Then I came up with the idea of, hey, let's mark this thing up so that I know exactly where all of this stuff is going and what everything is for. So this is an air vent that gets turned on when I shut the water off over here and then turn the outside shut off valve that's gonna be outside. It's when I open that up, now air will push through and will be able to blow out a little bit more just with uh, gravity. Um, I also showed wh which direction the water's going, that this is a filter. Um, over there, I can put on there that that's the inlet, the, the uh, Ven Venturi fertilizer injector. Um, I put on that, if you turn it, the knob, you turn it this way, it's on, you turn it down that way, it's off. Same over here, did the same thing over here. And this is the clean out. Whoops, where is it? Right there. And so I still need to do that there, but I wanted to test out the size and make sure that everything was in position. And at first I thought, oh gosh, I put that, I built that backwards um, on the table. It needed to be reversed and go out that way. And then I realized, no, I have it flat and it's turned the wrong direction. So I was able to, to see that and, and it's like, oh, okay, wait a minute. So it was a really good idea to bring it over here and actually see it in the space. Does it fit? Uh, is everything pointed the, the right direction? Like this guy right here, he's gonna get pointed out so that we can get the hose and bring it down to where the bucket would be down below. This is all gonna come up higher, probably to this line right in here. Uh, probably what I'm gonna end up doing, I think, is install um, some sort of wood here maybe. And I might even do it on the back side and just run bolts um, through and bring it together. So then I have a plate to um, attach this to so that all the weight's not sitting down um, on the poly pipe that's gonna be coming up. So we'll get this into, into position and get it all set up, get the box, put in where I kinda want it and stuff. I, I figured that I've got a little line right here. I figured this is kinda where I want it. Um, need to make sure that this top can close with the air vent still open or open and closed and it doesn't hit it and stuff. All of that stuff needs to come into place before I start drilling holes. So a hole eventually needs to get drilled right here so that this is going to be the water in feed and the poly pipe will go into this and then I have a short piece that, um, no I don't have a piece yet because I wanna see how big of a piece I need to cut before I can put it in there. This will go on the outside. And again, I don't wanna drill a hole for this pipe until um, I know exactly where this thing is gonna fall. And then I can do that and then I can shove it in there and I can tighten that up. And this will be on the outside. And then I can mark this um, with some verbiage that will, will explain what it's for and everything. I picture long term, I picture when this is all in position and everything is set up, taking a picture of it and then also doing an SOP step by step of how to turn everything on, how it all works and how to turn it off. That's really critical. Uh, those two steps are really huge around here on the farm. Uh, we, we, it needs to be easy that people can just do it and I don't have to do it every single time. Uh, I want people to be comfortable with that. And so it, there's gonna be some different ones because there's different things that need to happen in here. The ratio is gonna be up here and that needs uh, different information put on it. Uh, shutting this thing down uh, has a different setup for it. Uh, turning the uh, Venturi filter or uh, uh, fertilizer on is got its own set of instructions. Uh, turning this pipe or this uh, valve right here, when you turn this on, it blows out and cleans out the um, ba -ba 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 filter. And I think what I want to do there also is probably attach a pipe there and have it go outside also so that when we turn it on, it doesn't soak everything in here. Um, and if it goes outside, I plan on, you picture the outside right here, I plan on digging out with the auger a French drain and then dumping a bunch of uh, stone in there 
and then having both of the valves right here. So when you turn them on, they just they blow out the water uh, into the French drain and not make a huge mess in here. Uh, any holes that'll be here will have uh, the great stuff sprayed into them, you know, the expandable foam. And I'm gonna come in and I'm planning on hitting the seams with caulk and getting that so that this is relatively sealed up. You can never get it all the way, I know. But if we can get it pretty close to sealed up, maybe we can keep the spiders out of it, maybe we can keep the mice out of it. It's definitely gonna be way better than what we've had because uh, we now have a base and the gophers can't get to it. That's gonna be huge. Um, and if we can just kind of keep things out of there, that would be great. Uh, I plan on installing a, um, a power strip right here. And so the ratio can go there. I also plan on putting a couple of lights uh, up in here so that you can see in there and everything. Um, what else? I thought there was another plug that needed to get put in here for something. I don't remember. Oh, the pipe, the pipe, that's right. So then we're gonna wire, we're gonna put the heating wire on these pipes and that needs a plug and um, that'll have a thermostat on it so that we don't have to come out here and turn off uh, turn on and turn off the uh, water, the line, every single day in the spring and the fall. And the whole thing will be shut off in the winter, so that's not going to be a problem. So we just, we just want to keep it so that it just has to stay above uh, 32 degrees so that this doesn't freeze up, crack and burst. And I think that we can do that with the wire. I've been thinking about if we insulated it and then put like a lamp in here. Um, but I really think that the wire might be a better way of going about it and, and in the long run, probably less expensive, really. So that's kind of my plans at this point. It's, uh, it's kind of coming together. It's, 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 it's what I was kind of picturing in my head so far is kind of playing out nicely. And so uh, we'll just keep going with it. Uh, it's amazing how long this stuff takes, though. It's not something that you look at this and go, oh, man, so you got this done in like an hour. No, it's, it's taken, you know, four, four days of work. Now, I haven't constantly been working on it. We've had other things that we've done. Um, but it's, yeah, so it's probably a one-day event. If it was a 12-hour work day, you might be able to get this done. But I think your brain would be fried somewhere in there, and you probably wouldn't want to get it done. It's just a guess. Um, so, yeah, that's it so far. Happy with it. And uh, there you go.